Hi, this is Craig for Critical Mass Games, and welcome to this Mask Effects presentation. So today we're going to be taking a look at the new 50mm ZAS shipping containers, and how Dale has painted them using the 28mm Mask Effects product. Now to start with, these models have been given a black primer, and this has been followed by a base coat of XF53 Tamiya Neutral Grey, using an Iowata Neo Airbrush. Following on from the base coat, the shipping containers have been given a black wash, and this has been followed by a light grey dry brush. Once this is all thoroughly dry, the application of the splinter mask effects can begin. Now Dale is just using a scalpel to lift the individual pieces of mask effects from the sheet and applying them to the model. As you can see here, Dale is just rubbing down the mask effects with his fingertip just to ensure it is adhered to the miniature, and then he's using the scalpel just to trim off any excess along the straight edges, ensuring a clean, precise fit to the miniature. An old paintbrush is also handy to have on hand, just to enable you to emboss the mask effects product down into areas you might not be able to get with your fingertips. As you can see here, you can quickly reposition mask effects should you not be happy with your original placement. With the application of the mask effects completed, we can now apply the second coat of paint. In this case, Tamiya XF8 flat blue. It's important to remember to let all coats of paint dry thoroughly before applying more mask effects or indeed removing mask effects. So having given this miniature a couple of hours to dry, Dale is now back with the scalpel and simply peeling off each of the masks applied previously, revealing the wonderful splinter camouflage. With the final mass removed and a quick dry brush of light blue, these shipping containers are now ready to hit the battlefield. So that's everything for this presentation. I hope you've enjoyed seeing how these shipping containers were painted using the 28mm splinter mask effects. 
If you've got any questions, please feel free to post them below. See you next time.